Hello friends, welcome back to Melty Question World. Today we are going to discuss lipid profile or lipid panel test. Here we are going to discuss the importance of the test, risk factors, symptoms of dyslipidemia, increased and decreased conditions, normal values, how to reduce a blood cholesterol level, sample collection, method and calculation. An abnormally elevated cholesterol or fats in blood is called as dyslipidemia. It is a curable condition, requires a medical diagnosis, lab test is always required, chronic elevation might last for years. It is a routine test to determine the cholesterol level is normal or falls into a borderline, intermediate or high risk category. Cholesterol and triglycerides are lipids or fats. These fats are important for cell health, but they can be harmful when they build up in the blood. Sometimes they can lead to clogged, inflamed arteries, a condition called atherosclerosis. That means fat is deposited on the walls of arteries, that is atherosclerosis. This panel of tests helps to predict the risk for heart disease and stroke. The major risk factors of dyslipidemia are hypertension, smoking, family history of heart disease, diabetes, obesity, heart attack, physical inactivity, male of 45 years and female of 50 years or more. The major symptoms include upper back pain, hypertension, general malaise or feeling of discomfort, chest pain and squeezing sensation in the chest, shortness of breath, heartburn, arm pain, nausea and general epigastric discomfort. Next, lipid profile includes total cholesterol, discomfort. Lipid profile or lipid panel test include total cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL, LDL and VLDL. The first parameter is cholesterol. Serum cholesterol rises with age. The rise is more marked in men than in women. Increased level of cholesterol in blood is called as hyperlipidemia. It is seen in nephrotic syndrome, diabetes mellitus, obstructive jaundice and hypothyroidism. Next is decreased conditions. Cholesterol is decreased in acute infections, hyperthyroidism, malabsorption syndrome, hemolytic anemia, etc. Next is HDL or high density lipoprotein. It is called as good cholesterol or anti atherogenic factor. It diminishes the risk of coronary heart disease. Less than 40 mg increases the risk of coronary heart disease. Next is about triglycerides. Triglycerides is the risk factor related to atherosclerosis. It causes thickening of the walls of large blood vessels. The increased conditions of triglycerides include liver disease, nephrotic syndrome, hypothyroidism, diabetes mellitus, gout, alcoholism and pancreatitis. Next parameter is LDL or low density lipoprotein. It is known as bad cholesterol. It is increased in cigarette smokers in case of diabetes mellitus and in myocardial infarction. The last parameter is VLDL or very low density lipoprotein. It is associated with the development of plaque deposits on artery walls which narrows the passage and restrict blood flow. That means triglycerides and VLDL will deposit on the walls of the arteries to block the blood flow. Next is normal values. Total cholesterol normal range is 150 to 200 mg per deciliter. Triglycerides 80 to 150 mg per deciliter. HDL 40 to 60 mg per deciliter, LDL 60 to 150 mg per deciliter, VLDL 20 to 30 mg per deciliter. So not only total cholesterol but also the other parameters has to be maintained in a normal level. Now let us check how can maintain a normal cholesterol level. Having a heart healthy diet, being more physically active, quitting smoking, losing weight, avoid drinking alcohol and avoid 
ഹൈ ഫാറ്റ് ഫുഡ് സം ഹെൽത്തി ഫുഡ്സ് ടു മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ഗുഡ് കൊളസ്ട്രോൾ ലെവൽ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ഓട്സ് ബാർലി ആൻഡ് അതർ ഹോൾ ഗ്രീൻസ് ബീൻസ് നട്ട്സ് വെജിറ്റബിൾ ഓയിൽസ് സിറീൽസ് പൾസസ് ഗ്രീൻ ലീഫി വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് ഒമേഗ ത്രീ ഫാറ്റി ആസിഡ് ഫിഷ് ഓയിൽ വിത്ത് പോളി ആൻഡ് സാറ്റുറേറ്റഡ് ഫാറ്റി ആസിഡ്സ് എക്സെട്ര പ്ലീസ് നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് സിറീൽസ് പൾസസ് ആൻഡ് വെജിറ്റബിൾസ് പ്രൊവൈഡ് അഡിക്കേറ്റ് ഓയിൽ so additional usage of oils is unnecessary and it may be harmful next is patient preparation for the test what is to be noted before doing the test usually need to fast for 8 to 12 hours before having this blood test that means not eating any food and drinking only water is allowed most people have the test in the morning so it does it interfere with their meals we know that triglycerides will be increased in alcoholism so patient should be abstain from alcohol consumption for 48 hours before the test the blood sample required for lipid panel test is serum so that the blood is collected in a tube without anticoagulant that is a red vacutainer tube or clot tube a yellow vacutainer that is a serum separated tube can also be used next is about the methods of cholesterol estimation first one is lieberman burchard method second one salkovsky's reaction third one simmerman reaction fourth one chod pap method next is hdl estimation method phosphotungstic acid method is usually used triglyceride is estimated by enzymatic method and ldl is directly calculated in the laboratory the calculation method is for vldl triglycerides divided by 5 for ldl total cholesterol minus hdl plus vldl the total cholesterol is equal to hdl plus ldl plus vldl This calculation is valid only if the triglycerides values are below 400. If the triglyceride values are above 400 or LDL values are very high it should be estimated using reagent should not be calculated. LDL ratio is calculated by LDL divided by HDL and the cholesterol ratio is calculated by cholesterol divided by HDL. So today we are winding up you can watch the previous videos from playlist if you are watching without subscribing please do subscribe the channel press the bell button and turn on notifications for all then only you will get the notifications on time thank you